跟住到第十八題啦，最難嘅咧就係呢一個字啫 ，final genetic relationship， 所謂系統發生學或者親緣關係。咁啊，究竟我哋用咩辦法去研究下樓上嗰兩條魚仔咧？佢哋有咩親緣關係咧？咁但係咩叫親緣關係先？就係、是、源自咧一個概念嘅叫 final gene。final gene 咧就係解做咧群族嘅起源啊。咁而生物學家咧就係利用啦親緣關係嘅一棵樹啦，或者我哋平時書本學嘅演化樹啦，去形容。翻咧一個物種嘅起源同埋物種之間咧嘅演化嘅，咁但係啦，作為呢棵樹啦，你有印象噶啦，我哋喺幾時見過啊？就係一三年嗰條 M C 咧，我哋正正就係講演化樹啦。當年咧，我哋就係比較下咧唔同生物嘅 D N A 嘅 base sequence 嘅，咁但係除此之外咧，我哋亦都係可以比較翻佢哋嘅蛋白質啦，個氨基酸嘅排序啊，咁呢個咧就叫比較生物學，相似程度越高嘅生物咧，佢哋喺個演化樹上面咧，佢哋就係越係近嘅關係嚟嘅。咁除此之外啦，仲有另外一樣嘢都可以比較咧，就係、是、同源結構啦 ，homologous structure。咁例如啦，我哋嘅手臂、蝙蝠嘅手臂、雀仔嘅翼或者只馬嘅腳咧，其實個結構當然而家睇落係極度唔同嘅。但係根據親緣關係學嘅理解咧，我哋嘅結構咧應該係源自於一個共同嘅祖先嘅。咁所以成個演化嘅關係或者系統發生學咧，其實就係比較緊嗰個變化。咁有啲咩嘢我哋可以比較啊？例如啦，第一句嘅蛋白質嘅氨基酸嘅排序，呢、這個係可以嘅。我哋身體結構都可以嘅，人嘅胃。老虎、獅子嘅胃同埋一隻牛嘅胃都係有啲分別嘅，但係我哋可以比較下牛啦、豬啦、人啦、馬啦、狗啦，咁啊一鑊個一齊比較嘅話咧，我哋就可以睇下啦，啊邊啲生物嘅胃咧係好相近嘅，例如啦，馬嘅胃啦。牛嘅胃啦，咦，佢哋都係食草嘅喎，佢哋個胃會唔會好相近啊？但係第三個咧，佢就唔屬於系統發生學或者親緣學嘅，因為佢係比較緊嗰個住嘅生境同埋佢哋嘅行為。例如啦，講行為先啦，雀仔又識飛嘅，蝙蝠又識飛嘅，咁唔通佢哋係同類咩？鯨魚又住喺海，鯊魚又住喺海，八爪魚都住喺海。咁唔通八爪魚要同佢哋誒兩者又有一個近嘅關係咩？佢哋關係應該遠㗎嘛？最基本八爪魚係冇脊椎㗎嘛？鯊魚係魚類嚟嘅，但係鯨魚係哺乳類嚟嘅，係三者風馬牛不相及。但係佢哋住喺同一個地方，然後你就話啦，啊佢哋關係好密切嘅。都係一個錯嘅理解嚟嘅，咁所以答案咧就係 A 啦。So for question eighteen is asking which of the following allow further study of the phylogenetic relationship between the two fish. Say so the most difficult terms will be the phylogenetic relationship. So what does it mean? Phylogenetic relationship it means. 二三五四 ，phylogenetic relationship comes from the idea of phylogen. Phylogen, which means the origin of groups, and the biologists use the phylogenetic tree or the evolutionary tree to describe the origin and the evolution of a certain group of the organism. So let's recall the evolutionary tree. We do it in the two hundred one three MC questions. In that. Question: We are comparing the base sequence of the DNA, and apart from this, we can also compare the amino acid sequence in the protein. So that's why statement number one is correct. Compare the amino acid sequence of their functional proteins because it's a type of comparative studies. If the two fishes they have a high degree of similarity in the amino acid sequence, they will be a closely related species. So apart from the amino acid sequence and the base sequence, so we can also compare the homologous structure in certain species. So for this concept, it suggests that the species have evolved from the common ancestor. So for example, our limbs, our four limbs, human four limbs, four limbs of a bat. A four limbs of the birds and four limbs of a horse. So you may think that all of them are look so different, right? So for the horse, it's not really like a hand. So for the wings from the birds and for the wings from the bats, it's also very different. But it's suggested that those structures they comes from the common ancestor. 
So that's why for the number two, we can also compare the internal body structure to determine that whether their relationship is close or far away from each other. For example, the stomach of human being and the stomach of a tiger, the stomach of a cow, a stomach of a rabbit or the stomach of a horse. Okay, so of course, the function of the stomach is for digestion. But the horse, the cow and the rabbit, they are the herbivores. But for the tiger, they are the carnivores. And for human being, we are the omnivores. So there must be some difference in our stomachs. So that's why stomach can be an example for us to compare or even for the heart. Our heart, human being heart, the fish heart, the heart of a frog. So there must be some different. But we can put all the hearts together and then compare the heart, whether the structures is similar or different from each other. But for the statement number three, we cannot use it to develop the phylogenetic relationship because it's just comparing the living habitats and the behavior. For example, the behavior. A bat, it can fry. A bird, it can fry. Even a butterfly, it can fry. You can say that all of them are closely related to each other. Butterfly is just an insect, no backbone at all. But for the bat, for the birds, they have the backbone. And for the living habitats, for example, octopus, a dolphin, or even a uh, shark, they are also living in the ocean. But can you say that, oh, they are living in the same habitat, so it means that they are closely related? Not really. At least you know that octopus, they are invertebrate, and shark is a fish, and the dolphin is the mammals. They are absolutely different and far away from each other. So that's why number three is not valid and then that's why the answer is A.